Diverticulosis is a benign problem in the colon, and it's essentially little dimples or pockets that have formed in the wall of the colon. So it can cause problems if those little pockets get blocked with stool or by a large polyp, then they can get infected. Or the wall of the colon is actually thinner in these little outpouchings, so you can actually have bleeding from these areas of the bowel that can require colonoscopy or an intervention. Well, there's a few ways. Sometimes if you've had a CT scan of your abdomen or pelvis for other reasons, it might show up there or another imaging test of the bowel, but we oftentimes find them on your first colonoscopy where we just visually see the little dimples or pockets. Well, we think that constipation is one risk factor because if you have lots of stool built up in the colon, that pressure can cause weakening and outpouchings in the wall of the colon. But other risk factors are things like just getting older and obesity or gaining weight might be a factor too. I see diverticulosis very commonly on colonoscopies, sometimes in young patients, although below the age of 50, there's about 30% chance that you might have it. But as you get older, up into your 50s and above, 50% or more of patients are estimated to have diverticulosis. Well, it can actually be a good impact because the high fiber diet that we recommend is one that's rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and a lot of healthy food. So it can encourage you to make some healthy lifestyle changes. And a lot of patients actually never have symptoms from these issues. So just because you're diagnosed with diverticulosis doesn't mean that it's a bad prognosis or that you should expect to have problems, but it's just something to be aware of.